Thanks for staying with us. We're going to start with the nation. Federal government releases conditions as student loan scheme begins. Iran holds memorial for president, foreign minister, and other in the crash. Labor returns for minimum wage talks. Abortion rising among married women. Society for Family Health claims. Mm. States will continue to get electricity regulatory license. At 75, UBA sustains market lead with 18 trillion naira customer deposits. And no judge should bow to public opinion, says CJN. Okay, which story are we starting with? I, I hope you have the abortion story. Yes, no, that was oh, yeah, That's the one you said. Ah, you, I missed it. <laughs> I told you. I said you can't can find a funny story you left for me. Uh -uh, I saw yeah, it. I had the it's major right. headline. So the chief executive officer of the Nigerian Education Loan Fund, Akitunde Soya, said um, that, you know, they will prioritize, the loan will start as soon as possible. He gave it date. He said, but they will prioritize the students in the federal owned, uh, federal government-owned tertiary institutions. So all the federal universities and um higher institutions will be the first beneficiaries. And the president had signed this bill into law in April, and they will take off the payment of the, with about one, nine, one it was projected, 1.194 billion is what they are projecting. They are projecting it based on the Federal, uh, federal Inland Revenue Service, 1% of every revenue generated. And so they are looking at the Federal Inland Revenue Service is projected to make 19.4 trillion this year uh, as their target for the revenue. And so, based on that projection, they will have 19, uh, 194 billion to give out. And um, the students who are going to benefit from it are not compelled to pay back until after two years of their NYS. <coughs> so, after you graduate, you've served, and with the provision that you get a job mm. within two years, then you start paying. He was. Um... You don't get a job, unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> they will well, still wait anyway. I like yeah, the way they amended. Wait, but this is a good thing. Um, it's something that I think so, someone was saying he doesn't think that they should um, hurry up to um, apply for it. But I'm thinking the people will first go mm. and go pay. He said that all they need is their jam uh, letter, their NIN, their BVN, and that's all for them to apply. I'm just hoping that Nigerian students get the best of this. Yeah, they will. So the Minister of Power, Chief Adebayo Adelabu, uh, yesterday said that the federal government is continuing with its earlier stance on transferring electricity regulatory oversight to state governments. Uh, they had a two-day stakeholders workshop on the implementation of Electricity Act organized by the Nigerian Electricity Regulatory Commission, that's NEC. Uh, it started in Lagos yesterday and they said the federal government will not go against the law as the regulatory autonomy to states is already enshrined in the Electricity Act 2023, which was signed by the President Bola uh, Tinubu's uh, administration. So it says granting of regulatory autonomy to states is a provision of the new act, and um, no one person can single-handedly go against the act. Now, it's a provision of the law, and no law-abiding officer of the state who wants to go against the law is already included, and it must be duly respected. That's according to him. And he also admitted that he understands that this is a law, but they need to also address the potential challenges that might occur during the transitioning. And that's one of the reasons they were having the workshop, which had in attendance 36 commissioners of energy across the country. Uh, this was also a reversal of his earlier statements, you know, that he announced last week that there was a plan to halt the transfer of autonomy, uh, electricity autonomy to the state. So he's saying that nobody has... Um, any powers to do that is already enshrined in the law and they will follow up with it. Okay, so the Society for Family Health <clears throat> in Nigeria has said that abortion among married women is currently on the rise in Nigeria. Um, he said that it's a non-profit organization and they're saying specifically that, that uh, married women are bought because they want to minimize the negative economic impact of having additional children on their families. According to them, abortion amongst married women is on the rise because these women... Uh, obviously because they are, their husbands don't want them to engage in family planning. Mm. And because they don't want family planning, they get pregnant. Mm. And because they all don't know their husband will not be able to take care of the children, they abort. choose to abort without the knowledge of the husband. So it's not on the rights, especially in Niger State. He was giving this report in Niger State <coughs> and saying this based on the research. So did not capture the one <coughs> that the husband is compelling the abortion. Yeah. And they didn't capture they, that one. This that is just one really, yeah, it's possible. That the men, I some of the husbands, yes, I have do. only three children. Yeah, you, you cannot have another one. You cannot have another one, but we sleep together. Oh, yeah, use contraceptive. Remember, you say no, the pregnancy is your own. Mm. 
So do, go and do so something about it. Okay. The women love their families, love their husbands. They don't want the situation whereby the purchasing power of the family declines because mm. of this new child. Mm. Uh, I don't wow. think they have that right. You know, when Uncle Koye was a uh, minister, he used to uh, make sure that primary, you know, health centers, um, to make sure that women had this uh, option. Family planning. Family, family planning. planning yeah. you, see? you know, but well, some of us are not doing family planning. Do yeah. We are not doing. Yeah. Yeah, so they, it doesn't work for some people. They don't know school. about family planning. Some of them do, some of them should not. Yeah, yeah. Husbands, yeah. Free. A lot of them don't. <laughs> this report is saying that the families, free. the husband don't want it because people, it's, it's free. Yeah. They are aware. Free. This, the husband said, I don't want family planning because it only they God affects some people how many children yeah. we should have. Because we are married, they will, even at the centers, they'll be asking you, is your husband consenting to this? Mm. Whereas it's a woman's right over her body. Yes, to choose. To, oh, wow. to, to protect herself. <clears throat> okay, another story. So, yeah, the, um, the labor... The organized labor um, walked out on a Zoom meeting. They stormed out of a Zoom meeting. You know? <laughs> so I, I, I just, just log out. I, I just tried to <laughs> imagine. How did they storm out of a, a Zoom, Zoom meeting? meeting. Just Have they locked out? <laughs> because of the, uh, the union, um, they described in bad faith the government's uh, 48,000 um, proposition. proposition. No, but that's ridiculous. They said. Uh, because they are proposing 615. So they stormed out of the meeting, and then they have issued uh, ultimatums. They have told their state uh, people to issue ultimatums to Anambra, Eboi, Kogi, and Zafara, because they haven't even implemented the 30,000 okay. minimum, minimum wage. Minimum wage. So those ones are at it. Then they, are, they also talked about the uh, high electric tariff. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So, so hopefully... Well, they didn't even meet them halfway. Them. They didn't even say 300 and something. They say 48,000. They, they, they can't afford it now. Punch. Yes, for now. The punch. Do you know how... Uh, the only way they can afford it is if they sack half of the... Workforce. workforce. And the same, that's same, that's same, same labor to come out and say you don't sack. Mm. The punch. Student <coughs> loan, 1.2 million beneficiaries listed as scheme begins on Friday. World leaders mourn as Iran probes president minister's death. Lagos seals 840 event centers. Huh? Hmm? Yeah. Oh. Please, oh, you want to do quarry, oh. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> fine. <laughs> Workers lockout minister oh, yeah, issue 14-day ultimatum. <clears throat> UBA will meet 500 billion naira capital base before deadline, says CFO. Minimum wage labor insists on May 31st. Deadline as talks resume today. Food imports hit 3 trillion over flooding, says CBN. Judges' salaries reviewed 17 years ago, says AGF. Okay, please, can somebody human interest? So, me? the Lagos, okay, the Lagos state government has sealed over 840 event centers and mm -hmm. social facilities for safety violations and non-compliance with extant laws. So, the Ministry of Special Duties and Intergovernmental Relations was the one who said this, and they also noted that safety officers from the state emergency and fire rescue agency successfully rescued 376 victims preserving properties estimated at 152.22 billion, but with a regrettable loss of 82 lives and properties worth 25.37 billion. So the ministry had said that uh, the decision to seal the event centers was to uh, mitigate risk and protect the lives and property of the government and the citizens as well. Speaking during a ministerial press briefing at the Baguda Kauto Press Center on Monday, the commissioner, Benga Onyerinde, was the one who highlighted the achievement of the ministry in the last year. He said that the Lagos State Safety Commission carried out enforcement action at 840 facilities, including event centers, clubs, lounges, and hotels, and construction sites for safety infractions in the interest of the public. I think uh, the SEAL facility also included the Lekki Conservation Center and Quilox, that's the Quilox Club, among others. He said about 7,819 facilities were inspected to ensure safety, mm. with some 5,220 issued with fire safety compliance certificates. At the end of the day, some of these uh, places that are sealed were those who were not able to meet up with safety standards. He said some customers would call in and complain that they went to some places, especially the one for the Lekki Conservation Center, where the canopy had 
had some issues and yeah. people, it, you know, that place is really risky as they've reopened that one now. So they were just giving examples why they had to seal some of this place. Mm, so it's not that they've sealed them, it's yeah. just that um, they've sealed over the, over the past year. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. some yeah. are ready. And some have been open oh, because okay. they've gotcha. complied. I understand. Yeah. And with my mom's, with my mom's funeral, the, the, that same agency came to inspect to be sure that we're not over the numbers. In fact, mm. they actually checked. I was shocked. They were there to be sure because they warned me. Mm. You pass this number, we're going to shut down the party. Because you had crowds. Yeah, crowd. You know, they had to make sure. Mm. Let's go to shop break. When we come back, we continue with our review. Stay with us. We'll be right back. I'm just shocked by the end. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back.